Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Silver Graphics. In today's video, we're going to talk about freelancing. How to start freelancing for beginners. Let's get started. Whether you want to start freelancing as a graphic designer, writer, or developer, this video will guide you in starting your journey as a freelancer. Before we move any further, I need to clarify a few things. You must possess a specific mindset to be a freelancer. It requires developing skills, practicing, learning, and dedication to make it as a freelancer. Now, let's dive in. Step 1. Identify your skills. Find a skill you can offer as a service. What do you enjoy doing? What are your strengths? Make a list of everything that you think you could possible monetize. Your business will be built around the unique skills you have to offer. Those skills are your greatest asset. The key to winning in freelancing is to find a skill that you're good at and has enough demand in the marketplace. Don't limit yourself before you get started. For example, if you're good at illustrations or designing t-shirts and product packaging, go to a freelance marketplace like Upwork or Fiverr and check to see if there are jobs for that type of work. If there are enough job listings on those sites for the skill you're good at, then you're good to go. If you want to make freelancing your full-time job, you may want to pick a skill that you think a lot of people would be willing to pay for, or at least broaden the scope of what you are willing to do. Step 2. Choose a profitable niche. A niche is simply your specialty, an area you focus on and have experience in or simply passionate about. Once you've identified your skills, choose an area that genuinely interests you, and focus on becoming the best designer in that narrow space, that's how you really find the right side hustle niche. Is there a particular skill that you're more interested in working with over others? Knowing exactly the types of services you'd like to offer will help you figure out how you'll organize your time for the scope of each service and what freelance rates you'll charge, which might vary depending on the service type. The more a niche requires experience and expertise, the lower the supply of freelancers in that niche. Once you've chosen a niche, it's important to create a portfolio for your business online that showcases and differentiates your brand and services. Step 3. Be creative, make research. Make research on your niche. In your search, be open to all sorts of projects, because you need work to build a portfolio to gain experience. By making research and developing your brand, you will be building your experience, skills, and reputation in one specific line of work, which will increase your likelihood of getting hired to do side gigs for reputable companies looking for experts in a particular niche. Step 4. Create a portfolio. Once you've developed your skills, to start building your reputation, you'll need to create a portfolio showcasing your previous work, skills, and expertise. A portfolio can be a website or a web page where you showcase all your work. For example, if you're a graphic designer or an artist, you can create a portfolio page on a site like Behance or Dribbble to showcase all your designs. That way, when you're reaching out to a client, you can simply give them the link to your portfolio to check out your skills. Make sure to only include your best work in the portfolio. Step 5. Get started. In order to sell your skills, you need to think of them as a service. You need to find the right freelance platform to work with, like Fiverr and Upwork. Connect with your potential clients by signing up as a freelancer on any freelance platform. For pricing your gigs, the best way to figure out the right price is to go look at popular freelance marketplaces on the freelance platform and see what other freelancers in your niche or industry are charging. Since you're new, it's not fair to charge those same prices as experienced freelancers. Instead, you should try to figure out a middle charge where you can offer a competitive price than those experienced freelancers without making yourself seem cheap. Stay informed about the trends, innovations, and news in your niche. If you want to start freelancing with no experience, it's best that you choose to work on something you're passionate about. Alternatively, you can select a line of work that doesn't require official experience, such as administration or data entry. If you're good at what you do, you're always good enough to get paid.
Let's take a recap. 1. Identify your skills. 2. Choose a profitable niche. 3. Be creative, make research. 4. Create a portfolio. 5. Get started. Following these steps will get your first client by freelancing and getting paid. If you have any questions feel free to message me on Instagram, link in the description or simply drop a comment. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.